Ah. Uh. Whoops. <clears throat> Not what I wanted to happen. Hi everyone, this is Relly Girl. I'm over here at Nordhagen Beach. I'm scoping out a location for my next build series, and I think I finally found it. I want to make an old western town, and I thought it might be cool to kind of do it from each side of the road here and incorporate this somehow. Maybe my village could kind of go down through here like this could be a natural road. Move some things out of the way here. I like where this is. I may expand it actually. It could be a bit bigger, I think. I've already got three settlers here. I can't move them anywhere else. So I want to make sure that I don't get rid of their beds or anything like that. Even if I keep this or change it out a little bit to make it more Western, I might work on that. Uh, there is a lot of garbage around here that I need to see if I can clean out. And I'm thinking that possibly with Place Everywhere, I'll be all right and can actually do that. But I wanted to kind of show you what it looked like before I start cleaning some things out. I'm not sure exactly how far I want to go down the road. I know the further you go here, it turns into Fort Strong, I believe. Yeah, Fort Strong's down there. I see the sign coming up. And I don't think I'm going to be working that far down. I think this town would be really huge if I did it that way. I'm sorry if you hear my cat. She just loves to talk when I'm trying to talk. <laughs> my goodness. She gets a little annoying, but I love her. So yeah, I think that's going to be my plan. So I'm going to work on cleaning things out as much as I can get rid of. If I can get rid of something like that, you know, the guardrails, cars, things like that. We'll see what I can get rid of. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done getting everything clean out of here. All right, I am back after cleaning everything up and this is what Nordhagen Beach looks like after. All nice and cleaned up. No more guardrails, no more posts with lines that do nothing, no more garbage everywhere. You'll notice I did leave the road though. I tried to delete it, but there was one section and I think it was this section here with this fallen log. You cannot get rid of it. You can't even disable it. You can't disable this this log here either, so that's going to have to stay, unfortunately. I had to reload my save and just leave the road there. It looked silly just having this one section with road and everything else not. So that made me a little bit sad, but I think I'll be all right. I went ahead and left this airplane in back here because I don't know if I'm going to be building this far back. And that's something you don't see very often in the game. So I didn't want to just delete it and then regret it later. So I'm not sure. That's probably just going to stay there for right now. So I really cleaned everything up from about, you know, right back here up. And it looks really good. So I guess I'll go ahead and get in my build mode and we'll get started on the build. All right. So as you can see, I went ahead and put the walkway in. I wanted to, it to be at a height where when I put the floors down, the floors aren't glitching into the sand dunes. Unfortunately, the grass will come through. There's really nothing you can do about that. The grass is generated randomly every time you load. So some of this grass that's here right now probably won't be here next time I log into my game. So I'm making my first building. This is actually going to be the land claim office. It's going to be three long and just three by one, I guess you want to call it. I'm putting in some walls from the stains structures. It's kind of hard with all my snapping points I have added. It's kind of hard to get it, but there we go. When I looked down, it made it a little bit simpler to get it right where I wanted it. So I'm framing this out first. This side here on the left is going to be covered by another building. So I'm not putting any kind of a window out. We're going to have a back door in the back. And I decided to put two windows on this side since they'll be facing the bridge. Alright, so the frame is in. I'm going to go ahead and pick the wood facade. 
and I'm just going to go with that for this building inside and out. It's kind of tricky. Did you see how it was inside when I first placed it? If you just kind of pull back on it a little bit like I did, it will pop out. See? So that's what I do just the whole way around the rest of the building. Gets easier after you get the first one in there. It pretty much snaps right where it should. There, pop that one out. So the next one should just snap to it. Just like that. So we'll do the same on the inside. If you're not careful, it will try to snap to the outside of the wall. So you just kind of do the same thing as you did outside. Just pull it towards you. So my western town, I've decided I'm going to call it Old Stump. There was a movie I liked, A Million Ways to Die in the West. The name of that town was Old Stump. So I've adopted that for this. I'd like to possibly put an old stump in the middle of the road somewhere. It might kind of look silly though because I had to leave the asphalt on the road. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I could put it on that little dirt road that I'm going to be using. That would work. So now we're going to go ahead and put roofs on this. And I decided to go with the warehouse flat roof. It fit quite nicely on this building. I didn't want any kind of a peaked roof. And I didn't want to do the scrappy shack roof. So three panels fit perfectly. Looks good. I like it. So far, so good. Now we need to put the windows in. And I'm going to go back to stain structures to put the windows. And you start first by putting the frames in, but you have to go past the glass and things first to get to them. I'll just go with the first one. I can't see much of a difference myself. I'm sure some of the colors might be a little different. But I liked how the first one looked. And now I'm going to put the glass in. It just snaps right in. It looks nice. And you can see well from inside the building too. So now I'm hitting the doors. It was hard for me to decide what I wanted on this building. First, I thought maybe just a solid door. But I think it blends in just a little too much, so I'm not going to use that one for sure. And I thought I'd try this lighter wood. That looks a little dirty on the bottom, but I still didn't like it. It still just looked like it blended in a little too much for me. So I ultimately decided to go with the warehouse door like that, the greenhouse version. And right now I have it opening in. So I'll run around to the back and do the same thing back here. But first, I have to put the deck on first, so I'll just stick my door there so I don't have to go find it again. And I'm just going to use the same, but only the half version. Pops right in. Now I can put the door on. And I want the door to open out on this side. Good. So we'll put the steps. Just one set of steps. And then I'm going to put a railing the rest of the way around it. I like that. I wish they had a shorter version of it. Do not know why they don't. So I can't use it. 
That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. It's starting to come together. So I'm going to start putting some furniture out. This land claim office is going to have some desks and some chairs at the desks. So I think I'll be able to fit three in here and I really like this Federalist desk. But I need to turn it around the other way though. Yeah, just like that. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. So the way I have them now, it's kind of tight and there's a lot of room up front here, so I'll probably adjust. But in the meantime, I saw that there was this big gap above the door. So I am going to fix that with some wall planks. They go on the walls pretty nicely, but because this is a textured wall, I need to use place everywhere to pull it towards me one. Here we go. Now it's not looking like the wall board's coming through anymore. You can't see it on the outside either. So I'm going to do the same thing. And for some reason I thought I could do it from the outside and then I was like, wait a minute. I was inside when I did this, so I had to go right back inside. Now I can get that on there. And I'm going to do the same thing with that as I did on the front. Just place it and then pull it towards me a little bit if I need to. Actually, that did perfect. I didn't have to pull it towards me at all. But I think I lower it a little bit. And I'll do the same to the one up front. I'm doing a little bit different, if you can tell. I've decided to record my build and then try voiceover after the fact. I kind of like it. I did it with my sanctuary tour. So I thought I would try it with this because sometimes when I'm building, I feel like I need to rush when I'm trying to talk at the same time. And this way I figured it would be easier for me because I could build to my heart's content, do what I wanted to do, edit some of the things out that didn't need to be there, and then do my voiceover. So if this works out well, I'll probably continue it for all of my builds. Right now I'm just trying to figure out where I want these desks to sit. And I have this huge front part, so I decide to pull these desks toward me a little bit. Because I know each one of them, I want to have someone sitting at the desk, which is what I'm doing now, putting that chair out. And then, after, you know, on the side that I'm on right now, I want to put two chairs so that the people that are coming to claim some land have somewhere to sit. But the way that it is right now, it's really tight. And I start off with these fancy chairs. So I thought, well, that would be nice. But I don't, I don't like them. They look just a little bit too formal for this building. And it was nicer than what the person has that's sitting behind the desk. So here's where I decide to move the desks out. It was a good idea. Didn't need to be so much room up front. That one looks good. This one... That's probably good. Put that chair out. Yeah. I just don't like those chairs. So I end up going with the Federalist chair. I like how those look a lot. They look old-timey. And they actually fit in places. They look nice. Oh, I'm going with those chairs.
So I'm going to do a test and see if this fits. Yeah, I need to pull this door to open the opposite direction because it hits that chair. Unfortunately, I had the door open, so I had to get another door. It wouldn't let me turn it around with it open. Alright, now it'll open out. And we'll get the rest of these chairs placed in here. I like to have the chairs as even as possible, and that looked pretty good. Now for the last set of chairs. Alright, pretty good. Now that that's done, I feel like these windows are missing something. They blend in an awful lot. So I've decided to go and do some more wall boards. I believe it's the wall boards I picked. And I make little frames out of them. Wall planks. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. This was just a little bit of trial and error, really, to get it the way that I wanted to look. So this takes a little bit of time here to get this one done. So I'm going to skip past the other ones because it takes a while. But I wanted you to see how I did this one at least. And I think I also framed the doors. So you'll get to see me framing one of the doors as well. So these boards are a little bit too long. And also when you pull them closer toward the window, they kind of turn a little. So I placed them further out and used place everywhere to slide them in. Then I messed up and I hit the wall. So I had to send it back with backspace. And then I had to hit the key number five to get the little shimmering effect to stop. All fixed. So I decided because it is so big to reduce the size, so I reduced it twice to 80% and it fits much better. It can actually go in some more probably. So I'm gonna put the other one on and do the exact same thing. Put it on further back. And I'm going to slide it in. I actually look like I probably could pull it out a little bit too. But I adjust this window. Then I go back and do my sizing on this one. There, I pulled it out. And reduced that size by two. So the top and bottom boards, you can tell that they're sticking out. So I tried scooting that back more, but it went so far out I didn't like it because the window's not that big. I'm just adjusting that one to make it even with the one on the left. I just don't like the way that it looks like that. So I end up reducing the size on that by one and reducing the bottom one by one as well. That made it so that I could pull those side pieces back in to frame the window better. And I liked it much better, much, much better.
just getting it all finished, adjusting it where I want it to be. So I skip to framing the door so you can see how that's done. This was a lot quicker. It didn't take nearly as long as the window. I just had to pick the plank that I wanted. I ended up going with what I used on the inside. Popped inside the building there for a second, so I decided to switch to the top one and start with that instead. And it did the same thing, so I pulled it out one with place everywhere. Now I put the side boards on. And what was really cool about this is this second placement here. I was able to just put it there and there wasn't any kind of a shimmer effect or anything, so it worked out perfectly. It looks really good. I'll just do the same on the left here. That board, the top one, I had to pull out a little bit. Could you tell it was glitched in there? So when I pulled it out, you could see it much better like I wanted. And that side was perfect. All right. So the windows were all done. I think they turned out really nice. I like them. I realized that I forgot to frame the inside of the doors like I did on the outside. So I am going to do that later. But now I'm going to go ahead and put the wall on that I put above, below. I didn't like the look of the concrete. So I turned surface snapping off and I kind of just lined it up by hand and did all three sides of the wall that you could see. After I did the other side, I was like, well, that was kind of dumb because I'm going to have a building right up against it. I'm not going to be able to see it, but oh well, I took the time to do it. And I liked how it turned out. And I'm not going to make you watch all of this. I just wanted you to see how I started it. And then we'll jump to when it's done here in just a minute. There we go. All done. Looks really nice. Next up is light. I don't want my western town to have any kind of electricity so we are going to be using oil lamps and I'm just trying to decide how I want to do it and also really how I want to hang the lamps I didn't want to just have them you know just sitting there in midair with nothing so I thought about the G2M mod in that mod there are those little hooks that you can put up on those posts that are in that mod and I thought that maybe I could just grab one of these hooks and turn it using place everywhere and just stick it directly into the wall. So I'm showing you now how I'm doing that. I'm just changing the axis or axis. How do you say it? Axis, I guess. I'm doing that by hitting control and then using the mouse button either the left or the right button to turn it. I got it too far into the wall there. There we go. So I kind of placed it where I want it. Now I'm using place everywhere again to just kind of turn it. A little too far. There we go. And now just adjust the hook facing up. So that's about where I want it to be, right about there. 
Now I just need to make sure it's actually in the wall, not floating in the air. And that's about it. Again, I'm not going to show you how I did it every single time because it's a little bit the same thing over and over again. But I had trouble with this one, this first lantern here, because it just keeps wanting to snap where the hook should be, not where I have it. And for my other lamps that I actually hung up on the hooks, I turned both surface snapping and object snapping off, and that allowed me to just put the lamp in midair, fix it the direction I wanted it, and then I was able to go on my merry way. This was just kind of before I figured that out. <laughs> I was having so much trouble with that thing. So then I decided, well, maybe I could change it the way that I want it by just changing the axis. So that's kind of what I'm doing in these ones. <laughs> Whoa, I don't think that's going to work. Oh, then I screwed up and hit the wall again. So I had to undo that. <laughs> I'm glad that I figured out the correct way to do this for the next lamps. I'm kind of getting to where I want it to be. Just turn it and adjust the axis just a little bit more to make it more straight. And then I use place everywhere to pull it down. Then I think I pull it out just a little bit too. Yeah. So that's it. I do the same thing on the opposite side and then again on the back. But I don't show that because it takes a while to, to get it done. And the video would be way longer than it is. Looks good to me. So there it is both lanterns. Took me a while to get them at the same height too, but I think that they're even. They look really nice. And here's the one in the back. Just thought I'd show you real quick what that looks like too. Alright, so I'm heading inside. I'm going to do some more work in here. We need some light in here. Just waiting for it to pop up. There we go. I like this. This looks really cool. And so I thought that I would use it kind of almost to look like it's supporting the roof, even though it doesn't really need to. But I have it against that board there, and I thought that looked really nice, so... I decided to do the same thing on the exact opposite side. After I can get to where I can see it a little better. There. Now it's just a matter of making sure nothing's glitched through the wall or the ceiling. And that it looks pretty even. I love the swinging effect on those lamps. And these desks need something too. It's a little dark down here. So I'm just going to use the oil lamps that sit on things. I thought that turning surface snap on would help, and it did, thank goodness. I didn't want to have to try to line those things up on every desk. Last one, I don't know what happened, but the lamp was just out of sight. So I just <laughs> got me another one. I decided since this is a land claim office that we need some kind of a map. So part of the Minuteman Morale Pack mod has a little map of Boston in it. So I got that out to take a look at it and see what I thought. So I'm going to place it and then just pull it out with place everywhere so I can take a better look at it. But see, it's got like green and red on it. And I wasn't 
quite in love with it enough. So I remembered that there was also one in Creative Clutter. So I am just getting that now so I can put it on the wall and do a little bit of a comparison. There it is. To me, that looked better. So I decide to use these and I'm putting them at every desk. I figured it would be probably a good idea to have them there at every desk so that the office worker and the person who is in trying to claim some land could take a look at those maps. And I like it lower. This one, because there's a window, I had to put the map further back. That's okay. They can turn around and look a little bit. Looks good. Now we need some decoration in here. So, we're going to decorate. I decided this series would be a little different from Sanctuary. I thought that as I was building, I would go ahead and decorate some things. And then, for the final tour, leave a few things out. So that when you're watching that tour, there are new things to see. So this isn't going to be completely decorated, but pretty much. I liked the bookshelf. I thought that went well in here. And then I decided to go ahead and just stack them for a tall bookshelf on this end. I just had to turn off um, surface snapping, I believe it is. Yep, F2, surface snapping. So then I was able to just rest it on top of the other bookshelf and move it into position. A little bit better. Just like that. Now it looks like it should be a two height shelf. And I decided to put one more shelf on here but not a two, two stacked one, just one. And because of that desk being there, I wouldn't be able to get around it. So I have to make sure I have it in between the two desks there. Looks good, I like that. So while I'm in creative clutter, I'm going to look for some more office clutter to put around. So, folders and a clipboard with a mug and a pen, that looks good. They're not going to have terminals here because there's no electricity. I wanted every desk to be a little different so I didn't do the same thing on every one. And for some reason, see how that just dropped to the floor every time I tried to put it on the desk? So I had to turn the surface snapping off for this and adjust it myself. The first one worked out perfectly, but this one just would not. So this one is going to have some papers and a coffee cup. Pretty sure this coffee cup has coffee in it, though. Need to raise it a little bit. I could tell that it was down into the desk. That's good. Alright, so we've got two desks done. That leaves the last. Let's 
tried turning surface snap on again and it was doing the same thing as the second death so I turned it right back off and just put it on there myself and they're backwards so I need to spin them around looks good it's funny I notice most of these things those first two desks the paper is oriented for a left-handed person because I'm left-handed that's automatically what I do but this desk here looks to be like maybe a right-hand person could use it I don't know that folder there's kind of turned that's probably better for a lefty <laughs> it was just a little too close there so I kind of used place everywhere to move it a little bit looks good I'm gonna quickly look through here and see if there's anything else I want to use doesn't seem to be I thought about maybe using this safe here um, and I thought maybe I could put it on top of this bookshelf but after I got to thinking about it I decided that there's going to be a bank next door so I don't think that they're going to be keeping money inside their little office here they're more likely going to keep their money over there at the bank but then I saw that cool little scale there with the gold and I thought that would look really neat in here somewhere. This is probably something they would use during a transaction. Then at night they'd take the gold and put it in their safe next door. So that was just a fun little decoration piece. Fits nicely up there. Looks good. But I need something on top of that other bookshelf. So I decided to use OC Decorator. And I'm going to put a globe there. An antique globe actually would look really good. There we go. I like how this is looking. These lamps I have decided are too big, so I size each of them down one. And I like it a lot better. Just that sizing them down that one little bit made all the difference. Much better. Now you don't just see the lantern when you're looking at the desk, you actually see the desk. Good. Alright, so let's take a look at everything here. It's looking really good, but I feel like it's missing something. I think it needs something up on the roof. Not really a peaked roof, but just something up top. And so I thought about using that railing I couldn't use around the back just putting it up top here yes it's the false front you see that a lot in old western towns and I think that looks so cool plus I could put signage up there I've got to decide what I want to do about that I'm not sure I don't make my own signs. I'm not that smart <laughs> to be able to do my own mods and things. But I'm sure there's a mod out there somewhere that someone made that you can get your own wording. That's probably what I'm going to look for, maybe. So I decided that because that false front is on there, it needs some kind of a support. So I'm looking through the posts and beams. I can't quite remember the name of the mod, but it, it's listed below. I'm looking through that for something that I might want to use. That. It's at the perfect angle. Perfect size. That'll be great. 
So it's just a matter of making sure that it's actually touching, but not coming all the way through. Like that. Look at that. Who would have thought that one little thing like that could make such a difference? I love how that looks. There we go. Looks great. I'm really happy with this little building. It looks so nice. So that is it for episode one, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like. Also, comment below and let me know what you thought of this build. It looks really cool. I do like it. So I'll see you all in the next build. We're going to be building the bank next. Bye, everyone.